In this video, I have to make the hardest decision I've ever had to make in NBA 2K24, my team. For all NBA 2K24 grinding, contact Rose NBA, link in description. Guys, I'm I'm ready. It's my I'm ready, guys. It's my time right now. My time has come. My time has come. I have hit level 40, and we are gonna be getting the best point guard in the game, which is Goat Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Subscribe to the channel right now for me. Just go ahead and do it, man. Go ahead and hit subscribe right now. If you do not subscribe to the channel, you will match up against a point guard Kareem every single game for the rest of your life. I've been excited for this one, guys. Comment down below if you've got Kareem, if you're pro pass or non pro pass. I'm going to redeem that right now. We're going to get both of our GOAT Kareems, but I've also got this 100 overall stuff we've got to take care of first as well. So we're getting some really crazy cards today. Now, right here, I want to land. I, who do I want? I think I want Shaq and Clay. Those are the two that I want uh, Clay mainly. So I hope to land at least Shaq or Clay on this spin the wheel. I'll be disappointed if I land Larry and. It's gonna be Shaq, which is fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, this isn't a very good card, which is crazy to say. This was, what, the second 100 overall that dropped? Second or third or something like that? We have the 100 overall option pack right here. So I get to pick whoever I want. And yeah, I'm not taking Larry, I'm taking Clay, who is another card that, you know, I don't actually think I'll use, but I think it's the best card out of here. I've seen a lot of people use Clay, and he is really good. But now we've got two goats. Let's start right Right here with this one. This is the center power four Kareem. Still an amazing card, but obviously you can't use him at the point guard position, which is crazy. That's a crazy difference, but his jump shot is actually different as well. The point guard's jump shot is quite a bit better. Nothing crazy. Like it's not as though it's like this massive drastic deal. Like it's not as though this card sucks is what I'm trying to say. But at the end of the day, this is the card I bought the pro pass for. This is the reason I bought the pro pass. This has actually probably been the quickest I've hit level 40, which isn't very quick still. I, I don't fly through it. I don't rush through it like a lot of people, but I was really, really excited for this card. And I get cooked by this card quite a lot as well. So it's gonna be nice with him on my team, but there's actually something I have to share with you guys, which is actually really sad. And I don't want you guys to worry about me. I I don't want you to stress or, you know, get upset over this, but I have something I do need to share with you. I don't know who to run as my starting point guard, Goat LeBron James or Goat Kareem. The number one scorer in NBA history or the number two, it's, it's a really difficult position that I'm in right now and I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad for me. I'm not asking for donations or sympathy or anything like that, but maybe just, maybe just comment down below prayers up for Witness 2K. I would really appreciate that because I'm in a really tough situation at the moment. Now, obviously something I could do is run Goat Kareem at the point and then run Goat LeBron James as my small four. That then gives me an absolute ridiculous starting lineup. The intimidation factor will fly through the roof if I match up against someone and they see Goat Kareem, Glenn Rice, Goat LeBron, Manute Bowl, Yao Ming 100 overall. That's going to send shivers down anyone's Spine. I don't care who you are. But I have Victor Wembanyama that, I mean, I've got how many badges? How many Hall of Fame badges? He's got 55 Hall of Fame badges. Like, he's cracked as hell. He's basically 100 overall. And one thing that I like to do in 2K, because I try and give myself the best advantage possible every single time, what I like to do is taking advantage of the, the out of position stuff. So I kind of want to run this right here. My, my starting point guard is Goat. Kareem, who I do believe is better than LeBron James, and then my backup point guard is Goat LeBron. That 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 way, every single time on the court, you either when you're matched up against me, you're matched up against my point guard is either Kareem or LeBron. It's an absolutely ridiculous deal. And on another note, I have Magic Johnson, who I pulled, and I mean he's all right, but I don't really like his jump shot. I'm honestly not a massive fan of this card, so I think today we're going to grade and sell this Magic Johnson for some. 
MMT. Why I'm on the topic of selling something, I think I'm gonna sell my 100 overall Dirk Nowinski as well because I have this card right here. This Dark Matter Alex, his jump shot is absolutely amazing and I think I prefer him over 100 overall Dirk. Now I love 100 overall Dirk. I use the original 100 overall Dirk. I really like that card. I like this card, but I honestly think that this Dark Matter Alex is better and I have an opportunity to make quite a lot of MT right here. So we're gonna bring Jokic back into the lineup. They can be a backup replacement center if need be. And this right here is how my updated God Squad is looking and it is beautiful. I can sell Magic Johnson right now for 200,000 MT and I can sell Dirk Nowinski for just under 150,000 MT. But I'm gonna send these two cards away to get graded. Hopefully we get some higher grades on them. It is gonna cost me 35,000 MT to send it away and it's gonna take four hours. But if I get some good grades, like right now we have 350,000 MT just sitting there. So regardless, we're gonna be we're gonna be adding a lot of MT onto the account. But if I can get some nine pluses, 9.5, maybe even a flawless 10 on one of these cards, we can make some serious bank. I'm gonna take the three new cards that I got today into a game of triple threat just to test them out and see how they play. I look like an absolute pro pass grinder with this squad. Kareem trying to shake Wemby, but he's right on us, not allowing us. All right, Clay, tidy it up. Shaq, tidy it up for me. I mean, Shaq might, I mean, the Diesel might be the one, honestly. I've used Kareem a couple of times just on different accounts, but I've never had him long enough to like fully get used to him, you know, like fully get used to that jump shot and just go off with him. Need to focus at the task at hand though, which is catch this dub. And I want to just keep scoring with Kareem. That's what I want to focus on. Maybe a nice three from Clay would be nice. Give me that, steal. Clay, deep three, <laughs> money. He's a good card, Clay, I'll give it to him. If he was, if he was like maybe six, eight, he'd be on the squad. He's pulling the deep three now and missing it. You are not prime Clay Thompson. We all wanna be, but you're not mid-range money. Clay gonna get wide open. No, obviously I'm passing to Kareem and yeah, I think I'm already used to that jump shot. Another reason I'm glad that I'm also selling my Dirk Nowinski is it's not gonna be long and I will more than likely have Invincible Tim Duncan on my squad pretty soon. So that's a power forward that's obviously better than Dirk. We're two buckets away from winning this game. Swing that to Shaq. Does Shaq get a look? No, maybe. Yes, the big diesel. I mean, Shaq cards are cool, but at the same time, I run shooting guard Shaq still, and I like that card. One more bucket. It has to come from Kareem, no question. Easy buckets right there, but it has to come from Kareem. Has the leaning three. Ooh, that card is absolutely terrifying. A few moments later. We're checking in with these grades right now. I'm willing to grade again if they're really low, but probably a nine minimum I will take. Take a look at Dirk. 9.5. There's no way I regrade Dirk. I will take that for sure. Now, all the way over here is Magic Johnson. Come on, Magic. 9.5 on both of them. I do not need to regrade these. It only cost me 35,000 or whatever it was to grade this box. And they've both come back at gem mint 9.5. That has added 100,000 MT exactly onto Magic Johnson's price. I'm selling that right freaking now. And it has added 50, about 70,000 MT onto to Dirk. So we made an extra 170,000 MT by grading those. That was 100% worth it. Some people will probably say regrade it, but if you don't grade cards often, the chances of those coming back as seven and eight is so high. I'm stoked that they were a 9.5 each. We make a huge upgrade to the squad adding Kareem. Obviously he was going to make this squad, but we make some bank being able to move around some cards and grade those cards and sell them. Today has actually been pretty freaking crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and I will catch you in the next upload. It's been witnessed.